Make sure you're checking out his a delight. Don't make Thank it three you. years from now when you come back to I see won't. us, okay? I promise, I promise. Nice, nice, Thank nice you. Nice threads. <laughs> I want to audition as one of the babes in the background. Hey, you're much better than some of them. Oh, baby, you are off the hook. All right, Jr. <laughs> <laughs> loving it, loving it. She's not Over to back you. Back. <laughs> All right. We'll see you Monday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still as, as good any or continues. What's hot and what's not when it comes to sneakers? We'll have the latest trends. Plus, Pia Lindstrom will be here with a review of new Broadway productions of Elephant Man and Thoroughly Modern Millie. And getting your young kids to sleep will help with an age-old problem. Back in 60 seconds. Bring the warmth of spring into your home with the newest styles from Levitz. Levitz has complete rooms of furniture marked with one low, rooms for less price. There are rooms for less savings for every room in your home, plus savings on single pieces, kids' rooms, and mattresses. And you'll get an entire year with no down payment, no interest, and no monthly payments. Or pay today, and you'll get an extra 5% off everything. Warm up your home with beautiful new furniture from Levitz. Jeep vehicles are known for capability, and now during the Jeep Challenge, we rule on a whole new level. Starting with our 70-year, 100,000-mile powertrain pledge on engines and transmissions. Plus, choose Grand Cherokee and get a $2,500 cash allowance, or financing as low as 0%. So take the Jeep Challenge. You'll see we're hard to beat. Hey, you guys got to give me a head start next time. Great products, great protection, great values. Take the Jeep Challenge. Check one out at your Jeep dealer. Da, da, da. Could you go ahead? Go da, for it. Da, 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 da. What are you doing? I can't remember the scene. <laughs> <laughs> that was obvious. Doobie dooby doo. It's a little a little <laughs> known fact, but uh, you actually wrote the words to that song. <laughs> yes, I, I mean the caliber. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Good Day New York on this Friday. Yes. April 19th. I'm Jim Ryan here with the gang, and here are the stories that are making news right now. Two emergency medical technicians lie close to death this morning. Their fire department ambulance was slammed by a speeding car in East New York, Brooklyn. The driver has been arrested for DWI. It's a year after the fact, but California cops have now charged Robert Blake with murdering his wife. The 68-year-old actor was arrested at his home in Hidden Hills yesterday. And it turns out that a series of manhole explosions near Times Square last night were caused by an underground electrical fire. Last night, five buildings were evacuated and power was shut off. In sports, Yanks beat the birds behind Boomer. The Mets shut out the Expos. The Islanders lost game one of their playoff series with Toronto. Price man here now, having sung the theme, will give da, us the weather. Da, da, da. There we go, 66 degrees outside right now, everybody. We are beginning to warm up. We'll get up to about 81. Listen, we got some fog and uh, points on the island. So if you're heading in that direction, please do take care this morning. Other than that, partly sunny skies will reach a high of 81. And tomorrow, getting cooler. We'll tell you all about it, but the heat wave is O-V-E-R. Let's send it on over to Adrian. check out what's happening on the roads and the rails. Adrian. All right, Dave, just as catchy as the theme from the Love Boat, folks. If you're taking the boats, the trains this morning, everybody on or close to schedule, but a different story on the Deegan northbound. We have an accident now. All lanes closed at 233rd. That will pose a major problem. Dick, good morning. Good morning to you, Adrian. Well, five people are injured, two of them critically, when their ambulance was broadsided by a van reportedly driven by a drunken driver. We'll have more on this story straight ahead. Hey, Lynn, over to you. All right, thank you very much. We are going to tell you about putting those kids to bed. Consistency <laughs> is a good word. <laughs> we'll tell you all about it in a few. Pia. Good morning. Well, two plays opened on Broadway. One of them is Billy Cruda, plays the elephant man. Well, actually, I'm going to take it from you, Pia. All right. Uh, that's okay. That disembodied voice was Pia Lindstrom, but now it's me, Cheryl Washington. Listen, if you've got some old and worn out sneakers, we're going to show you some real trendy ones that are truly off the hook. Now over to you, Pia. <laughs> as I said, two plays <laughs> open on Broadway. Billy Crudup as the elephant man, and then thoroughly modern Millie 
tapped its way onto Broadway. I'll have a review of that. Good morning, Ernabelle. Hey, good morning, Pia. I finally made it to PS 124 in Chinatown, where, guess what, kids? I'm going to be principal for a day here. Watch out. This is the current principal right now. Yes, hi. Welcome to PS 124. Thank you. And your helpers today would like to make a little presentation. Thank you. I want to be principal every day. Jim, back to you. You're always our principal. Uh, <laughs> well, just because I did a little you doesn't mean... <laughs> I'll be you. All right, then. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, thanks, Dave. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, there's a cold front coming down from the north. But where else would it come from? Quite hard here now. Lynn Brown with what's happening right now. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning to you, Jim. Good morning, everyone. Authorities have thwarted another possible deadly threat at Columbine High School. Two students could be expelled for allegedly writing a hit list with the names of 11 students. Two staff members were also named on that list. Right now, authorities say that they're investigating the threat and they have contacted those named on the list to ensure their safety. Tomorrow is the three-year anniversary anniversary of the Columbine massacre. The city and the teachers union are happy with the way contract talks are going. Yesterday was the first negotiating session since last month. Both sides agreed to a state panel's suggestion of a 15% raise. They will return to the table for talks next Wednesday. The war of words continues to rage on between gubernatorial candidate Andrew Cuomo and Governor Pataki. Cuomo harshly criticized the governor for his leadership in the wake of the September 11th attacks. Now politicians from all over the, are weighing in on the issue, including the former mayor. It saddened me because th this, this hasn't been done by anyone. And uh, I don't think it, sh it should be done. I think it's a political mistake. I hope that Andrew Cuomo uh, ceases and desists from trying to make this into a partisan political issue. It is not an appropriate one, and it's not an honest one. Governor Pataki said that he was stunned by the comments. The owners of a popular supermarket damaged in the World Trade Center attacks have filed suit against the airlines involved. The Amish market is located across the street from Ground Zero and has been closed since September 11th. The owners are suing American and United Airlines, blaming them and two airport security companies for the loss of business. Neither airline has commented on the suit. A famous photograph of three firefighters taken at Ground Zero sold for a whopping $89,000. The color photo showing the firemen raising the American flag on top of a pile of rubble is the only original print. The picture was auctioned off at Christie's. The money will be donated to charity. And this Monday, you may want to give yourself some extra time if you drive into the city. The ban on single occupancy vehicles is history for the Lincoln Tunnel, the Midtown Tunnel, and the 59th Street Bridge. Adrian Nardo will have complete details for us in a few moments. And that is the latest from Fox 5 News. Here now, the weather authority. Nice. Whoa. Hey. Very nice. You got to do some voiceover work. It's nice to see you, Jim. It is 8.07 right now. It's 66 degrees outside. It is going to be a beautiful day. Let's walk on over to the weather wall. Just once we take the camera shot when he is just <laughs> misbehaving two feet to my left. Uh, let's uh, see what's happening at this point <laughs> as we take a look outside on the FDR drive. It is going to be nice. All right, folks, here's how the numbers look at this hour. We're going to put them up for you. It is 66 degrees right now, but as we head through the rest of the day, we'll climb up to 81. Normal uh, high temperature on this state, about 62 or so. Mostly sunny skies greeting us with 75% humidity. Calm winds and a steady barometer. If you're out on the island, we do have some uh, ground fog out there, so watch it. In some locations, uh, visibility may be a little bit of a challenge. And if you go over to the east, places like Nantucket, they're like, they, you're talking about a quarter of a mile visibility. Calm winds and a steady barometer. 2999. Let's take a look and see what's happening at the uh, temperatures around the area. 54 in New Haven, 63 in Newburgh, 70 in Poughkeepsie, 67 in Trenton, and uh, let's see, 64 at JFK, 58 in Danbury, and 52 in Bridgeport. I think I said 70 in Poughkeepsie. It's 64. We have some clouds. Uh, again, some issues with some cloud cover early this morning, but th that's going away now. We should see the temperature begin to climb after a morning of watching temperatures drop by about 10 degrees. Wind should wind up eventually coming out of the 
the south and then the southwest. Uh, the cool down continues today into tomorrow. Sunrise was at 612, sunset tonight at 739. Cold fronts beginning to move on in, and as it does, we are going to see a change in the temps, folks, as we head to tomorrow. We're talking about temperatures getting up to only 70 degrees. This is a blank map with nothing on it, but if you're not familiar with this area, it is the United States. There we go. We're talking about a jet stream beginning to move in, pushing the hot air out of the way, getting the cool air in place, and by Sunday, talking about temperatures much cooler than where, the, where we are now, and uh, by Monday, maybe into the 50s. Let's hit the forecast for you. For the rest of the day, we'll call for sun and clouds mixing together with 81 as a high. Remember, that's still about 20 degrees uh, north of where we typically get to. Southeast to southwest winds 5 to 15. They were out of the northeast for much of the early morning, now beginning to change. An evening shower, maybe even a pop-up afternoon shower, but I think an evening shower is most likely anywhere from, let's say, 6 to 9, 6 to 10 o'clock. Mostly cloudy tonight. 59 should be the low, 45 to 55 in the burbs. And the five-day forecast looks like this. Let's check it out right now, see what's happening. 70 tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think it's going to be just incredible. As we head to uh, Sunday, 58 degrees, much cooler. 55 on Monday, could see a little bit of a shower there. Uh, other than that, a mix of clouds and sun in the afternoon. 57 on Tuesday, looks delightful. Wednesday looking good at 62, but much cooler next week versus this past week. It's 10 minutes after 8, 66 degrees. Uh, completing, the, uh, completing the picture right now, Adrian Nardo. I have nothing witty to say, Adrian. Whoa, mark that down. Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about what's happening on the FDR Drive. And by the way, traffic is lighter than normal today. That's good news because we went through torture yesterday during the commute. FDR Drive southbound, 130s to the 70s. That is absolutely lighter than normal. Again, all the roadways are lighter than normal, except for that Deegan. Let's talk about this. Northbound Deegan accident just happened at 233rd. Everything is closed on the northbound Deegan at 233rd. On your southbound side, we have the rough road surface. Steer clear of that mess. Inbound Georgia. Washington Bridge, 25 minute delays. Conceivably, that could grow as the delays back up onto the cross Bronx in both directions. Kai, good morning. He's found a problem for us in New Jersey over the train tracks. What's going on, Kai? Well, good morning to you, Adrian. Problems on NJ Transit. You can see we had a tree that fell down onto the tracks here in Glen Ridge. This is near Bloomfield Avenue and Freeman Parkway. Now, as a result, service is now suspended to the Bay Street Station on the Montclair branch. You are advised right now to use the Booten line instead. Now, that's only if you use that Bay Street Station because the rest of the stops on that branch are not being affected. Adrian, back to you. Thank you very much, Kai. And let us go back to our maps. By the way, the outbound Lincoln is a 15-minute delay. Inbound is minor. Holland is minor in. Still troubles in New Jersey. Northbound Route 17 at the Garden State Parkway accident pushed to the shoulder. Northbound Route 21 slow for a mile into Route 80. We've got a disabled vehicle there and only one lane squeezing by. Troubles in Westchester southbound 684 at exit 5. The sawmill, another accident there. Alternate side in effect. Back to you, Jim. Adrian, thank you very much. Coming up, two new offerings on Broadway, Elephant Man and, on the other side of the coin, Thoroughly Modern Millie. Pia will be here with a review of both uh, efforts. Plus, you can't get your kids into a good sleep pattern? <laughs> you can just show them that guy. <laughs> we will have help for you. If you've got a problem, call the Fox 5 Problem Solvers at 1-877-TELL-FOX-5. Closed captioning brought to you by your New York, New Jersey, Connecticut Lexus dealer who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. Lexus IS 300 E-Shift or 5-Speed. Now with lease payments starting at just $399 per month for 39 months with $2,240 due with signing. See your New York, New Jersey, Connecticut Lexus dealer just down the road. You all set for bed, bud? Uh-huh. You sure? Uh-huh. Okay, Mom, read you a story? Yep. Yeah. You brush your teeth? Uh-huh. You wash behind your ears? Uh-huh. You do wash behind your bed? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Did you vacuum your toys? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Did you polish all the light bulbs? Uh -huh. Steam clean your mattress? Uh -huh. yeah, and the box spring? Uh -huh. Did you boil your coin collection? Uh -huh. Danny, you know you can't go to bed till you boil your coin collection. Now we've talked about that. You'll find oil heat in the cleanest homes. It's 95% cleaner than before. The world's largest bouquet. 27,713 carnations. The largest diamond. 3,106 carats. The largest shoe selection. 
DSW Shoe Warehouse with thousands of today's hottest styles from your favorite brand names and all up to 50% less than department store regular prices every day. DSW Shoe Warehouse, the shoes of the moment, the deal of a lifetime. Check our website for the location nearest you. How you live says a lot about who you are. From a unique decor to a distinct architectural style. When you choose Marvin Windows and Doors, you get exactly what you want. The professionals at Jager Lumber will help guide your project from concept to completion. As your partner throughout the process, they'll help create your dream home. Marvin Windows and Doors, made for you. Visit the Marvin Windows and Doors showroom at Jager Lumber today. Celebrate 25 years of Star Wars as Fox presents three Star Wars movies three Thursdays in a row. Watch this. First, The Empire Strikes Back. There is no escape. And Return of the Jedi, theatrical special editions never before seen on network television. Then, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Plus, each Thursday, a special introduction by C-3PO and R2-D2 of exclusive footage of Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Starting April 25th, three Thursdays of Star Wars movies only on Fox 5. Serious accident out in Brooklyn. Dick Oliver's at the hospital. Ollie? Jim, an ambulance racing to the scene of a shooting was broadsided by a van critically injuring two fire department emergency medical technicians. Three people in the van were seriously injured. One of them is charged with drunken driving. The accident happened about 11 o'clock last night at the intersection of Workman and Fountain Avenues in the East New York section of Brooklyn. Now, police say the ambulance's lights and sirens were blaring when the van struck it, forcing it to flip over and bending its side by the impact. The EMTs are clinging to life, both in critical condition, one at Brookdale Hospital, the other at Kings County. Now, the most serious is here at Brookdale. He is a man in his 40s who suffered head and abdomen injuries. He underwent extensive surgery early this morning. The three in the van are in serious condition, including 29-year-old Sylvester Valley, who has been charged with driving while intoxicated. Jim, back to you. All right, Ali, thank you very much. Mayor Bloomberg uh, launched a, an Adopt a Company program to help the small businesses around Ground Zero get back on their feet. Sort of like a uh, corporate big brother program, if you will, where a large company comes in and helps a smaller one. Well, we have our big brother and our little brother with us this morning. Uh, Steve Kamen, who is a partner with Proskauer Rose, the well-known law firm, is uh, helping out uh, Nino's Restaurant. And with uh, Nino's Restaurant, Nino Van Doan, the owner. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. And uh, thank you for joining us. Steve, first of all, tell me, if you would, please, what kind of help would you be able to provide uh, Nino and his restaurant? Well, we're lawyers, of course, so I guess um, the, the, the principal aid we're expecting to provide is legal. Uh, general corporate advice, tax advice, that kind of thing. But um, because of the nature of the program, which is intended to be very flexible, we also are prepared to provide a range of other services, uh, introductions to, to people we know, uh, business advice. Uh, it's, uh, it's an embracing relationship rather than a narrow one. Well, let me ask Nino you know, what it means to him. Uh, this is great. Uh, being that uh, uh, Nino's 9-11 fund uh, was formed from people wanting to volunteer and uh, it became this uh, wonderful organization to help our heroes. And at this point here to have uh, a firm like Proskauer Rose come here and help us, it's uh, uh, it, it's it's a blessing, uh, it's a dream come true, and uh, I thank Prosca Rose for uh, working with us and assisting us. I'm looking forward to working with them as uh, we are continuing to uh, uh, help our heroes uh, in other ways, not just feeding. And uh, uh, I look forward to this partnership. And I'd like to thank the mayor and the mayor's office for uh, enacting this uh, program. Now, Nina, where are you located, and what kind of problems did you encounter? Uh, following 9-11? Well, uh, we're located at 431 Canal Street. Uh, uh, that's at the uh, crossroads of Tribeca and Soho. And the whole area was shut down uh, after the attack. Uh, but uh, we reopened uh, for a non-for-profit uh, reason, which was to help uh, our heroes. And uh, at this point, uh, we are now a small non-for-profit organization, still aiding and assisting uh, our uniformed officers. Let me go back to Steve and, and ask him, uh, uh, Steve, this is not the only uh, uh, small business that Proskauer Rose is helping. Tell us uh, 
the full extent of your involvement and why you got involved. And while you're doing that, you might introduce the young lady to your left. Yes, I will. This is Lana Young, who is a um, associate in our corporate department. She is, um, I guess, with me, a co-adopter of Nino's. So she's the mother, I'm the dad. And uh, <laughs> right side? And I'm the son. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Proskauer has uh, about 50 attorneys in our New York office involved in adopting about 20 small businesses. So it's been a, a terrific outpouring of support and um, most of the, well actually all of the businesses other than Nino's are small for-profit companies. Everything from florist to a, a pen um, hospital to a, a barber shop, a graphics company, a high-tech company. And um, uh, why we got involved? I guess three reasons. Number one, like uh, many people who live or work in New York, we wanted to do something um, to, to give back. And the Trade Center uh, resonates uh, probably more deeply than any other event in my lifetime. So uh, this was something that was very attractive from that standpoint. Second, um, the, the, the idea of the private sector helping the private sector was very appealing to us and uh, government sponsorship has made this happen thanks to the uh, New York City Economic Development Corporation uh, but otherwise it's completely private sector and then the third um, attraction for us was the flexibility of the program uh, whatever uh, we can do to help um, companies like Nino's or the other uh, companies we've adopted and whatever they need and we structure the relationship in a way that makes sense for both of us with uh, virtually no bureaucracy or red tape well, there's an unusual set of circumstances right there. All right, gentlemen, thank you. And lady, thank you all very much. Uh, again, uh, Steve Kamen from uh, Proscar Rose and uh, Nino Van Don from uh, Nino's Restaurant. Uh, a little cooperation there uh, to try to get through the aftermath of 9-11. Lady and gentlemen, thank you all very much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. All right, coming up, Pia is here to review the uh, two latest openings on Broadway on the uh, serious side, Elephant Man, and on the musical side, right there, thoroughly modern Millie. Then, once there were uh, Ked's high tops, that was it. Now we'll see what's hot in sneakers in the 21st century. Plus, the principal is your pal, especially if it's Ernabel DeMillo. Anakin. Don't do anything without first consulting either myself or the council. He's holding me back! I'm a Jedi. A Jedi! What do you know? The boy has exceptional skills. His abilities have made him arrogant. You're not all powerful, Annie. Well, I should be. I see you becoming the greatest of all Jedi. No, Anakin, no! Rated PG. How does Siemens celebrate an anniversary? Big! In fact, it's so big, everything is on sale. Siemens' entire inventory is marked down and ready for immediate delivery. And how do you pay for it all? You don't. No down payment, finance charges, or monthly payments for an entire year. Or pay now, and the prices go down even lower. Now that's a celebration. Siemens Furniture's 69th anniversary sale. It's this weekend, and it's so big you can't miss it. $259 a month to lease a Saturn Hell 200. Amazing. Yeah. Could you throw in the summer? No, I can't do that. Uh, but, um, I will tell you this. You've got a, a pirate on the hair ship. What? You've got corn in your goatee. It's embarrassing. It's just corn. The Saturn Spring Sales Event ends June 30th. I want to be pampered by natives. I want to taste something exotic. I want to feel the wind in my hair. I want to get closer to my children. I want my mommy. I want to ride off with that special someone. I want to... 
Universal Orlando Resort, a vacation from the ordinary. For special vacation packages, visit your local Liberty Travel Store to book your vacation from the ordinary. We'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Anne Rosenberg. Anne turns 85 today. Happy birthday, Anne. Anne is uh, the mother-in-law of our, uh, our bean counter, <laughs> our office manager, Sue Rosenberg. And, uh, and her husband, Michael. So, uh, happy birthday, Anne Rosenberg, 85 years old. Oh, today. that's lovely. And from now on, Jim's expenses get processed very early. <laughs> Goes right <laughs> through. Like... <laughs> that's nice. I Nothing like a little digestion I joke to start say off this anything. half hour. Did just this. Pia is here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should try to follow that. A couple of openings this week on Broadway. The Elephant Man, and last night, a musical based on a movie thoroughly modern Millie. It's directed in a broad comic style by Michael Mayer. It cost a reported $11 million. A lot of that, I think, went into the sparkling but flattering costumes and multi-leveled art deco set. This is 1922. The adorable, tall, loose-limbed Sutton Foster is funny whether dancing with the swells or tapping with the steno pool, as Millie, the ambitious girl from Kansas. The divine Cheryl Lee Ralph, last seen in Dreamgirls, does a stylish quality turn. Strike up the band, only in New York. The music is a bouncy collection of 20 songs, some from the 1967 movie on which this is based. The production is really too self-consciously cute, but Sutton Foster's star goes up on Broadway. Billy Crudup, with a shaved head and body stiffened by contortion, represents the deformity of John Merrick, the elephant man. One of the best young actors today, Crudup finds unexpected humor and gentle stoicism in this unforgettable role. Do you know what happens when dreams cannot get out? Kate Burton returns triumphantly to Broadway in a crisp, witty performance as a woman of illusions. This one has Tony Award nominations written all over it. Well, learn a little every day, don't we? <laughs> Billy Crudup also opened in a movie today, a quirky road movie about finding your way home called World Traveler. But for all you actors out there and you waiters who dream of being actors, <laughs> get seats in the balcony. Don't miss this stellar performance of the Elephant Man and see what an actor can do wearing nothing but his underwear. Jim. Thank you, Pia. <laughs> I wonder what a weatherman can do wearing nothing but his underwear. I'm about to show you right now. <laughs> Don't spook the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Ernabel is principal for a day this morning. Ernabel? Hey, good morning, Jim. Check out my new digs. This is the principal's office. I want you guys to meet a few folks. These are some of the students here at PS 124 in Chinatown. And behind us here, these are some of the first, second, and third year teachers, some new teachers in New York City's public school system. Also right here is Ruth Cohen. She is the president of Pencil, the program that puts us all together. And we also have Janet Wan, who is the principal here. She's letting me take over her job today. <laughs> now, let's talk Talk to Ruth first. Tell us about the goal of this program and why you have all these professionals out taking over some of the schools today. Well, PENCIL stands for Public Education Needs Civic Involvement in Learning. I know it's a mouthful, but the real, the real idea is to, is to build a bridge between the schools in the city and the private sector. And people from all walks of life, service principals for a day, restaurant owners, CEOs, media people, and they, they really get a chance to see what the strengths and the challenges are in the school system because educating the kids in the city is all of our duty. Well, we're going to learn more about this school coming up um, very, very soon. But first, we have some of the kids here with a special PS124 welcome song. You girls ready? Okay, hit it. Five, six, seven, eight. In Chinatown, come hear the beats. Yeah. <laughs> Through the doors of PS124, 40 Division Street. Welcome, Welcome Ernabelle. Ernabelle. Oh, thank you. Very good. Once again, we are at PS 124. We're going to learn more about the school, what works here, what doesn't work here, all kinds of stuff. Meet some more of the kids. That's coming up. Okay, Jim, back to you. All right. Well, they're ready for Broadway. <laughs> Great. Absolutely.
Coming up, the latest on the arrest of actor Robert Blake and the murder of his wife a year ago. Plus, there on everyone's feet, we'll tell you about sneakers. Which ones are hot, which ones are not. And getting your kids into good sleep patterns, one of the hardest things to do for a youngster. We'll have some help for you. What you doing this summer? Packing, lines, traffic, rain. How about gorgeous outdoor furniture that'll last for years? And vacation home. Others may be similar to Treasure Island, but that's all. Ours is the finest with details that often defy comparison. And our prices can't be beat. So much to select from. Like this cast aluminum beauty. Can't rust, sturdy, comfortable cushions, richly fashioned frames. Look at the detailing. In seating, dining, and our own bar groups. For beauty, comfort, and tradition, it's our all-weather wicker. If you love wrought iron, this is ours exclusively. Every detail sculpted and curved. Imagine, just imagine. And here is our most popular aluminum set, exclusively ours. Swivel chairs, gliders, and sling or thick cushion. Wow. Another Treasure Island exclusive, a mix of teak and cast aluminum. It's magic, and only Treasure Island has it. There are many places for outdoor furniture, but none as fine as Treasure Island. It's really a most unusual store. So you're here test driving these new Mazdas. Any interest? Not according to the finance guy. Now, get limited term 0.0% APR financing on every 2002 Mazda. Save on all Mazdas like Protégé, Protégé 5, Tribute, and Miata. So hurry to your Mazda dealer for a test drive and get 0% APR financing. The offers are special. The exhilaration is standard. Oh, something else. So, so. Yeah, what he said. Attention homeowners, mortgage interest rates have gone up. If you still haven't refinanced your old higher interest mortgage to a new lower fixed rate, or if you want to cash out some equity, now may be a great time to lock in a new low fixed rate from Ditech.com. Don't wait for mortgage rates to go up again. Refinance now while Ditech's rates are still low. Call 1-800-71-FIX or log on to Ditech.com right now. Ditech.com, your mortgage solution delivered. The Belmont Stakes Fair returns to Belmont Park Racetrack this weekend with tons of free family entertainment and attractions. USA Today, the Los Angeles Times, the Washington Post, and Time Magazine are all talking about Changing Lane, the number one movie in America. It will leave you breathless. And Ebert and Roper give it two very big thumbs up. Changing Lane, rated R, now playing. Are Eric and Donna finally over each other? Oh, good for him. He's dancing with the beautiful... Skank! That 70s show. Tonight at 8 on Fox 5. You're watching Good Day New York. Welcome back to Good Day New York. I'm Jim Ryan here with the gang. 66 degrees under mostly sunny skies. Mr. Price tells us the heat wave is almost over. We'll have details just ahead, but first, Lynn Brown, the greatest with the latest. Lynn. Hi, thank you very much, Jim. An EMT worker is clinging to life this morning following a serious accident last night in Brooklyn. Dick Oliver is live at Brookdale Hospital, and he has the very latest. Dick. Lynn, it began with an ambulance rushing to the scene of a shooting. The, it was broadsided by a van critically injuring not one but two uh, fire department emergency uh, uh, medical technicians. Three people in the van were seriously injured. One of them is charged with drunken driving. A accident happened at about 11 o'clock last night at the intersection of Wortman and Fountain Avenues in the East New York section of Brooklyn. Police say the ambulance's lights and sirens were blaring when the van uh, struck it, forcing it to flip over. The EMTs are clinging to life, uh, both in critical condition, one here at Brookdale Hospital, the other at Kings County. The most serious here at Brookdale, he's a man in his 40s who suffered head and abdomen injuries. He underwent extensive surgery earlier this morning. Uh, three in the van are in serious condition, including 29-year-old Sylvester Valley, who has been charged with driving while intoxicated. Lynn, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Dick. The Brooklyn Diocese is handing over the names of more priests in the church sex abuse investigation. Prosecutors now have the names of 21 clerics from Brooklyn and Queens. This is in addition to the 15 names that were handed over last week. Meanwhile, the Archbishop of a Greek Orthodox Church was arrested last night. Pangratios Rionis is charged with sexually abusing a 14-year-old boy in 1999. Police say the priest played a pornographic video and 
fondled the boy in the rectory of the church. Prosecutors in California plan to announce today whether they will file charges against Robert Blake. The 68-year-old actor was arrested outside of Los Angeles for the death of his wife, Bonnie Lee Bakley, last summer. He could face the death penalty. His bodyguard has also been arrested. Police say they will seek uh, charges or to charge Earl Cordwell with conspiracy to commit murder. Sportscaster Marv Albert will likely stay in a Trenton hospital until tomorrow. He is scheduled to undergo a CT scan later this morning. Albert and fellow NBA announcer Mike Fratello were injured in a car crash early yesterday on Interstate 295. Fratello was treated and released from the hospital. And that is the latest from Fox 5 News. But before you speak, <clears throat> this was given to me by our director, and apparently someone gave this to him, one Gisla box. It says to Jim Ryan, and the words are, I love me some Jim Ryan since 1989. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? I love that. Great, man. <laughs> Okay, we'll get to the There you go. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Apparently, she likes a little appetizer. Gisla. Oh, uh, you know. I love you some Jim Ryan. That's great. I'm glad. Yeah, nice. No, it's Did terrific. You, do you, do you see no, the I'm not. I'm green eyed really. monster no. of jealousy rearing its ugly head like a snake? I've got to tell you, I, and we get, we get all the emails into one central computer when the show is on. Mm. So many people yeah. write in. For, and, and you know what? They're little traits. Everyone writes in they love Cheryl's laugh. Mm -hmm. Everyone writes in that they get such a <laughs> kick at <laughs> Not, Not anymore. <laughs> and, and that you really define this program. Yeah. And everyone writes in. It's all kidding aside. People write in and they write. Everyone signs their letter. God bless you, Lynn Brown. Oh, thank they you. They really so do. They, they know just, I need it. No, nonsense. <laughs> Around so, this crowd. Yeah, I'd like to say speedy recovery to Marv Albert. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Very good. Absolutely. Hopefully, Get better soon, Mark. In uh, Mr. Fertilla doing well. Yeah, bro. He's, uh, Mike's out. Mike's out, and I think uh, Marv has a CAT scan going this morning, and hopefully he'll mm -hmm. be uh, in uh, tip top shape soon. They'll miss the beginning of the playoffs, but they'll be well hopefully soon. It's your turn. All right, let's walk on over to the weather wall right now. It is 8 35, everybody. I love me some Dave Price. <laughs> All right, baby. You want to walk on over to the weather wall with me? I will. All right, let's see what's happening outside. Uh, hello to Tanya this morning. Tanya wrote in that uh, she also uh, loves Mr. Jim Ryan out in uh, New Jersey. Let's put up the current numbers. Tribeca is in the background. FedEx truck. It is, she, but she's from somewhere in New Jersey. The numbers are looking like this, everybody. Let's just get to the details right now. Mostly sunny skies, 66 degrees. Oh sorry, God. Dave. Dave, sorry. <laughs> Something going on up there we should all know about? Do we apologize? 75% <clears throat> humidity at this hour, calm winds, and a uh, steady barometer at 29.99, everybody. Let's go and check out the map and see what's happening. 62 in Islip right now, 66 in Newburgh, 60. Take, can we take a camera shot of the desk and find out what's happening over there? As I was saying, 64 at JFK, 59 in White Plains, 58 in Danbury. Cooler air coming into play. The fog now beginning to burn off. Winds started out from the northeast. They're going to switch around, do a little switcheroo later on. Wind up coming in out of the uh, south and the southwest uh, by the end of the day. 74 in Icelandia, uh, 84 in Parsippany is a high temperature, 82 in Homedale, 81 in Dobbs Ferry. Sunset at 739, everybody, tonight. And again, it looks like we're in for cooler weather. Maybe a chance of a shower tonight, 6 to 10 p.m., roughly in that range. We could see a little something pop up and uh, as we head through the weekend we're talking about uh, colder conditions uh, cooler conditions certainly for Saturday still normal temperatures about 61 62 degrees we're not uh, going to be anywhere near there today topping it off at about 81 or so let's hit the forecast put it together for you rest of the day today this is what we're calling for sun clouds 81 southeast to southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour into tonight again we'll cloud up just a little bit we'll uh, maybe see this evening shower roll past us 59 should be the low 45 to 55 in the burbs uh, the shower shouldn't be anything too spectacular. And over the next five days, uh, again, really cooler stuff. 70 tomorrow by Sunday, 58 degrees. Weekend looks nice. Uh, 55 on Monday with uh, maybe a shower going on. And as we head into uh, Tuesday, 57 degrees. And Wednesday, 62. That's a quick look at your weather picture. 838 it is right now. 66 the temperature.
What's wrong with him today? Go he's hit he's me throwing now. clips at Adrian. It's Friday and he's off Monday. It's Friday. It's Friday already, and he's off okay? his rocker. <laughs> Adrian, what's happening? It's going to be off a lot longer if he keeps that up. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, folks. Let's take a look at the Triborough Bridge here. We got a 30 minute delay. Bronx, Manhattan bound. It looks pretty darn heavy to Queens as well, folks. Even with that construction, not usually that bad, but yes, it is today. Let's talk about the Lincoln. All buses, very few cars. About five minutes or so inbound at the Lincoln. About a 10 minute delay on the outbound side. Holland is looking good. Let's go to the maps. George Washington Bridge, 25 five minutes in accident upstairs better off at the lower level northbound Deegan has lanes closed at 233rd with an accident delays back to the cross Bronx your southbound delays on the Deegan be begin at the Yonkers line New Jersey northbound 440 right at the outer bridge crossing some heavy delays because of police activity delays back to the Garden State Parkway on the Staten Island side accident on Highland Boulevard at Seaver Avenue and if you're making your way on the island eastbound Sunrise Highway Lakeland Avenue another accident there. Alternate side parking rules in effect today. Jim! All right. <laughs> you little minx, you. <laughs> Adrian, thank you. A serious moment here. Hmm. Um, we meant to, uh, to bring you this story yesterday, but we were unable to because of time. Uh, there's a, a gentleman named Christos Romnios. He's, he suffers from Alzheimer's disease and is missing hmm. uh, since the Greek parade uh, on Sunday. Hmm. And his family looking for him. He's 65 years old and he's they, they were at the parade and they turned around to buy a pretzel and then he, he was gone and he has no money and no idea and no ID mm -hmm. and he has uh, Alzheimer's. Maybe, I don't know if you can uh, just, uh, if you see uh, this gentleman, it's up, it's up here in yeah. the corner. Uh, if, you, uh, if you see that gentleman at mm -hmm. all, uh, uh, maybe mm -hmm. you could uh, uh, contact, or I guess there's, you There's a number yeah. at the bottom so, okay. of the article, Jim, okay. right at the bottom uh, there. Okay, if you see him, uh, you contact the 72nd Precinct uh, uh, squad, that's the detectives, and their number is 718-965-6336. Uh, or you mm. could call 1-800-577-TIPS, mm. T-I-P-S. But uh, uh, Christos uh, Romnios, uh, missing since Sunday, mm. and uh, suffers from Alzheimer's, his family would really appreciate it if you uh, if, if they could locate him. I hope they find him. Hope so. Yeah. Okay. Up next, kids and sleep. They don't often go together. We'll have some advice on getting your little ones into uh, bed and to sleep, and also the scoop on sneakers. Which ones are hot and which ones are the pits? <laughs> <laughs> The widest movie screen, 117 feet. The widest long span bridge, 160 feet. The widest selection of brand name shoes, DSW Shoe Warehouse, where you'll find aisle after aisle of today's hottest styles from your favorite brand names, all up to 50% less than department store regular prices every day. DSW Shoe Warehouse, the shoes of the moment, the deal of a lifetime. Check our website for the location nearest you. Now there's a better way to buy carpeting. Empire Carpet, America's largest shop at home carpet service. Instead of driving from store to store, call Empire. We'll bring carpet samples to you, then install your new carpet next day. And with our warehouse direct prices, you'll save on all our brand name carpet. Plus, no payments for one full year. Shop at home service, great sale prices, and next day installation. Call Empire now. It's a better way to buy carpet. 800-588-2300 Empire. Cable. I'm here for the install. Hmm. I'm at your front door, sir. I'll tell you what. We'll meet you back there sometime between uh, 12 and 5. I always wanted to say that. The more powerful Acura RL.
A new fragrance, chic, Carolina Herrera, New York, available at Macy's. I've always had trouble getting my kids to sleep, <laughs> both the first time around and this time around. They just, my kids, for some reason, refuse to go to bed. I sometimes think they think they're going to miss something, but sometimes mm -hmm. you need consistency in getting the kids to uh, get a good sleep pattern. That's the important thing right there. It helps them with their thinking and their learning skills. It also promotes good behavior. So what if your child has a problem? How do you get them on a good sleep program? <laughs> Kemma, hey. why are you being fussy? Okay, you want to do it here? Pull the cover. You can pull the cover. Because he was waking up and we were, either my husband and I were walking over to his room and taking him and bringing him, bringing him over into our bed, we decided to actually move his crib inside our room. Lucas is two years old and has problems sleeping through the night. His bedtime varies because both of his parents work. They tend to keep him up because they like to spend time with him. His dad does usually work late, coming home anytime from about 7.30 to 9 o'clock or so. So we don't consistently, every night we don't put him to bed at the same time. Waking up during the night and not having a consistent bedtime can cause bad sleeping patterns and lead to sleep deprivation. A child surprisingly might act hyperactive if they're overtired. Another symptom of not getting enough sleep is having difficulty falling asleep for a child or waking a number of times during the night. So how do you get your child on a good sleep program? Putting a child to bed at the same time every night is what's best for the child and keeping them up for hours after that just so they can see mom or dad is not a good idea. Establish a bedtime ritual. They should be things that slow the child down from the busyness of the day. Things like reading books, singing some songs quietly, maybe telling a story. Children often don't sleep as deeply as adults do, and so they'll wake up a few times during the night. My tip is don't rush in right away. The child has to learn to go back to sleep on their own anyway, so you rushing in is going to prevent them from learning that. Oh, he's uh, he was faking it. Yeah, right. He was faking it. Oh, Parenting Magazine suggests that a toddler should be getting about 12 to 13 hours of sleep a day, 10 or so during the night, 2 to 3 napping. And an update on Lucas after our little visit to the house and Parenting Magazine's advice. He is back in his own room, good, and he is sleeping through the night. My Better. daughter, <laughs> when she was a baby, she would go to sleep. But if you turn the light out, it's like some mechanism went oh. on, she'd wake up. If you turn the light if out? If you turn the yeah. light out, yeah. Really? Yeah. And as long as the light was on, she would sleep. Right. Turn the light out, that was it. Oh. Why, do you, why do you find that surprising? Yeah. You still sleep with a nightlight. <laughs> <laughs> That's so I can find my way to the restroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not touching rest, that. Rest, you know what? After 30, <laughs> after 30, it just wasn't funny anymore. <laughs> uh, Ernabelle is oh, principal boy. for a day down in Chinatown. Good morning, Ernabelle. Hey, good morning, Jim. You know, I know that you've done this before, so has Dave Price. It's such a great way for regular folks like me to learn really what is going on behind the scenes at a public school. Well, we are at PS 124, and this is the music room here. This is Josh Grecken. He is also known as Dr. Music, and these are some of his students. By the way, they just started to learn the violin about a month ago, but they sound great. Now, also with us again this morning is the principal, whose job, of course, I'm taking over today. <laughs> this is Janet Wan. And Janet, I know one of my jobs as principal for a day is to find out what works and what doesn't work. Can you just tell us some of the, the, the good things that are going on here at the school? Well, I think there's a lot of good things that are going on in this school. And one, of course, we have a very hard and dedicated staff, as you can see from all the teachers here. They practically live in this school, the hair. And I think we have a lot of good instruction for students here. We really try to bring a lot of art and music into their lives. They have dance, sing, um, music and art. And so there's a lot, a lot of good things that go on here. But there's still a lot of things that you wish that you could have here, right? I think we always continue to always want to improve upon what we're doing. We want to keep building up our, our knowledge as teachers, and, and so this way that we can keep raising the achievement level of our students. Okay, well, let's meet some of the teachers. What's your name? 
Johanna Rosenberg. Johanna, and how long have you been teaching here? Um, two years. Two years? Yeah. And what grade do you teach? I teach first grade. Okay, what advice do you have for me? I'm going to be sort of your boss for today. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, the best thing is just come down and meet all the kids, and they'll love to read to you. They love showing off a little bit oh, and everything okay. they've known. Well, I can't wait. Let's actually meet some of the kids now. What's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? A dancer. A dancer. Well, good luck. And what's your name? Morgan. Morgan. Lauren Chin. Lauren? Ariel. Ariel. Katrina. Katrina. Well, thank you so much. You guys are actually going to be my monitors for the day, right? So you're going to be shadowing me all day long. We're going to meet some of the kids here. We're going to, I'm actually going to teach a class. I'm going to teach a journalism class to a bunch of fifth graders just like you guys. Are you guys ready? So no one wants to be a reporter here, huh? No, okay. <laughs> no takers. I told them what time I woke up. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much. I want to thank everyone here at PS 124. And thank you, Janet, for letting me take over your job today. Okay, and also thanks to the pencil program. Jim, back to you in the studio. Mm -hmm. All right, Annabelle, thank you. And uh, nice kids down there, mm -hmm. nice, nice folks. Cheryl's here now. Yeah, but may I add this in conjunction with what you just said about the Prince of Day? I'm going up to PS4 at the Duke Ellington School oh, nice. at 500 West 106th Street in about another 10 minutes. 500 West what? 500 West 160th Street. <laughs> I know, I just kind of slurred that one. <laughs> I had drinking again, right? Well, that's so one thing I am not doing. <laughs> Kids must be excited now. They are. First of all, all the kids are off today. That's my first order of business. We're going to tell you how to shop for the best shoes around, the trendiest ones for walking, for running, as well as for cross training, all after this. Hmm. What's that one? I don't know. Mall Walker 6000. Free? <laughs> Free. Closed captioning brought to you by Verizon 411 for directory assistance anywhere in the U.S. Critics and audiences are cheering for one of the best family films in years. The Rookie is Disney magic at its best. Yes. A movie for anyone who's ever had a dream. Oh, my God! Dennis Quaid, The Rookie, rated G, now playing. Good news, Governor Kempthorne. The popularity polls are in, and there's only one guy ahead of you. Really? Who? It's Spuddy hey. Buddy. Go, go, Idaho. You want great baked potatoes? Go, Idaho. How about some mashed potatoes? Idaho. Or maybe golden brown french fries? Idaho. But just take it from me, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genuine Idaho potatoes, America's favorite. You're not planning on running for office, are you? Why is out of town? Must be Sears Days. Look for our lowest prices of the season on select men's and women's apparel. Sears Days. Where else? Whoa. A magic numbers instant game from New York Lottery. Go ahead, scratch it. Can you do me a favor? Could you put your briefcase there for me? It's cool, I promise. The magic numbers card goes in. Here we go. Check it out. That's 500 grand. I was juggling taking care of my husband, kids, and a job. I was on overload, and I began to eat and eat. I was always tired, and I was angry with myself. One day I realized I had a choice. Do nothing or take control and focus on me for a change. I called Jenny Craig. Call 1-800-JENNY-20 because bathing suit season's right around the corner. And now lose 20 pounds for just $20 plus the cost of food. After losing 42 pounds, I'm in control now. Well, sort of. I will own a Jaguar. Hand robbed maple. I will own a Jag. Oh my. I will work Leaper into conversation. The top of this mountain looking down, the view was just Leaper. I will know the joys of all your drive standard. Sleek. I will nod appreciatively and say complimentary scheduled maintenance. I will own a Jag. I will own a Jaguar. Bought it. Jaguar. Me. For exceptional values on the X type, visit your Jaguar retailer today. The Belmont Stakes Fair returns to Belmont Park Racetrack this weekend with tons of free family entertainment and attractions. Here we're sitting here talking about the sneakers. You've got a running shoe and yeah. it's like a tennis mm -hmm. shoe right. over there. Two, two different shoes yes. for two different right. purposes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Play tennis in a running shoe, you break your ankle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, how right. often do you replace yours, by the way? Your, your well, when I was running seats. a lot, I used to do, you know, I, I, I would get two or three pair a year. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But That's not anymore. Now, now, now they last about 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's a good average. <laughs> well, if you're looking to make a fashion statement in footwear this season, don't head to a fancy shoe shop. You can put your best foot forward by slipping into a pair of comfortable sneakers. <laughs> 
we're seeing sneakers becoming a lot more fashion forward. Um, what was mostly a technical sneaker before has become a sneaker you can wear in style. A lot of running and cross-training shoes right now use a lot of color. Um, beyond the color, we're seeing a lot of interesting materials. Bright colors and trendy styles seem to be the latest fad in sneaker fashion, but comfort still tops the list for most New Yorkers. I look for actually comfort, you know. I want to be the most, the most comfortable I can be, you know, okay. so I can walk around, run around, you know especially when I'm playing ball, you know? I use them every day, not just for working out, but they're my everyday wear. I'm getting to be that age where my feet are like sensitive and um, I don't want to wear anything tight that would, you know, make them hurt. Sneakers are really comfortable. And I think people really love that element about a sneaker. But beyond that, right now it's really stylish. Technology is becoming really great now. Uh, companies are catering towards specific types of feet. Some companies make for narrower feet, people who don't have high arches, some people are making for high arches, it really depends. But all the companies are being very progressive about that right now. I definitely recommend someone consult a person who is very versed in what footwear is all about, especially in the sneaker market right now. I mean, there are a lot of injuries that can be caused by the wrong footwear. Well, one sneaker company is not just concerned about fashion. They've designed a the line of sneakers for cause. New Balance has put the breast cancer ribbon on several styles of their sneakers. And for every pair of these sneakers sold between uh, July and October, they will sell $5, which will be donated to the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. So for mm -hmm. more information, log on to our website, which is fox5ny.com. Yeah. Nice. So, if I understood you, they're going to donate five dollars <laughs> right. for each yes. purpose mm. for, for each yes, pair of sneakers. Okay, for breast purpose. cancer research. Okay, back after break. Fox Television is conducting the biggest talent search in history. If you have what it takes to become America's next music superstar, the auditions are about to begin. New York City auditions begin April 29th. See www.fox.com for details. It happens once in a blue moon. For three days only, everything is on sale at The Wiz. It's Wiz Days at The Wiz, the only time you'll find everything on sale. Everything you would want from TVs to home theater systems to cameras, camcorders, and computers. It's the year's best deals. Only during Wiz Days. It's all on sale through Saturday. Financing available till April 2003. The right time, the right place, and everything's on sale. Wiz Days, only at The Wiz. Good morning, Puff. We're your mommy and daddy here. From the creators of Being John Malkovich. You're taking that poor uncivilized creature and turning him into a human being. Comes a story. I gotta crawl. Of primal urges. Remember, don't ever do what you really want to do. And primitive desires. How is everything? Fantastico. I'm glad you like it. Oh. Chef will be back. Oh, bad. No, come on. So would that be all? Human nature. Excellent work, Puff. Yahoo! Rated R. Now playing. Check local listings. During the Chrysler Challenge, we challenge you to find any brand that gives you cash allowances up to $2,500 or 0% financing on select vehicles and 7-year, 100,000-mile protection on engines and transmissions. Only one brand gives you all that. Chrysler. And now get $3,000 in total savings on town and country. Go ahead, compare, and you'll see just where we're leaving. The competition. Great products, great protection, great value. Take the Chrysler Challenge. Thomas's bagels? Thomas's fresh bagels. Crunchy outside, warm and soft inside. Surprised? Yeah. I had no idea Thomas's made bagels. Bagels this good could only come from Thomas's. Thomas's. I've had it with frozen. Breakfast should be warm, tasty. Thomas's waffles. Thomas's fresh waffles. Crispy, soft, with a taste that beats frozen waffles four to one. Great breakfast. Thomas's. When Max takes on her clone, you look familiar. hold on for maximum action and maximum adrenaline. Dark Angel tonight at 9 on Fox 5. Congratulations to Sean McGrath and Elizabeth Allo getting married on Sunday. I'm out of here Monday. Have a good weekend and a good day in New York. Enjoy. Have a good weekend. Have a good this program brought to you by Smithfield Lean Generation Pork. Pork never looks so good. You can always count on family. Name a breed of dog that makes a good security dog. Chihuahua. <laughs>
for a good laugh. Family Feud, the show you just can't watch. You gotta play along. Let's play the feud. Join comedian Louie Anderson for all the excitement. Survey says, hey, if you want fun, you know the answer. The answer. Don't just watch, play along. Family Feud, play along for the fun of it. Today at 2 and 2.30 on Fox 5. Retailer today. Now there's a better way to call all the people who come first in your life, no matter where in the world they are. It's the AT&T Any Hour International Savings Plan, with lower rates than ever before on calls from home to over 80 countries, and a great low plan fee of just $2.95 a month. So start calling your number one fans. But first things first, enroll at 1-800-523-WORLD. Alien. Lost. Ditch. Lost. Paradise. Found. How? Walt Disney Pictures presents a story of... <laughs>